in our unwavering commitment to sustainability. A stark reality came to our attention. The mishandling of waste in our campus. Shockingly, India produces a staggering 26,000 metric ton of plastic waste per day with single-use plastics accounting for a troubling 40% of the total waste generated. The situation was dire. 1,800 tons of waste were daily dumped in Mandur since 2008, a practice only halted in 2014 due to public uproar. However, the aftermath left heaps of unprocessed garbage in Mandur, with the cycle now repeating in Bellali village. We chose not to be part of this problem. Instead, we redefined waste as an opportunity. Materials like paper and plastic once discarded are valuable resources. This shift in perspective ignited our journey towards transforming our campus into zero waste model, guided by the 7R principle. Turning a campus into a zero waste one is very easy. We are Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore, and we would like to share our story about this journey of sustainability. The hardships and challenges all the teachers and students overcame to make zero waste campus a reality and more so, sustain it. Let's start from the beginning. Well, Cambridge Institute of Technology with more than 3,200 students and 270 staff produce around 2,000 kgs of waste every 15 days. From that, to a sustained zero waste campus in three months, is an achievement. The interesting question is, how? Step 1. Rethink and refuse. We identify the source of waste. Food packages and allied services being the largest source of waste automatically directed us to the food vendors in the campus, including the bakery, juice bars and canteen. Food parcels from the local eateries again generated a lot of plastic waste. Hence, the immediate step was to ban all single-use plastic inside the campus. This reduced our waste generation by 30%. Step 2. Reduce Here's what we did. We asked all the vendors not to use single-use plastic and replace it with reusables. So, plastic and paper cups were replaced by steel glasses. A consumption of 500 paper plates and spoons daily in the canteen was replaced by steel plates and spoons. A cutlery bank of steel plates, spoons and glasses were created to substitute the massive usage of paper plates and cups during events. Steel different boxes were provided to each department for faculty to get food parcels. Well, students in hostels always wanted to have a takeout once in a while. The hostel students were asked to rinse the covers and segregate the waste. Guess what? It worked. Simple, isn't it? Well, the war wasn't over. Step 3. Rot. Here, we take care of the wet waste generated. Food waste that was generated was taken by the piggeries. Vegetable peels were directed to the cows and the remaining went to the compost pit created in a secluded corner of a campus. The dry leaves in the plant byproducts also went to the compost pit. These composts are now being used for our gardens. Step 4. Recycling We went into an agreement with ITC. On a mutually agreed time, ITC collects all the dry waste and takes for recycling. We aggregate the dry waste into 20 categories in our Dry Waste Aggregation Centre. From October 2022 to July 2023, we have generated 36,599 kgs of dry waste. The interesting thing to note is that, what we used to burn or bury or send to BBMP is now a resource for us. For example, tone papers generated was about 3,449 kgs and small cardboard was about 400 kgs, totaling nearly 4,000 kgs. Remember, 22 trees are cut to manufacture 1,000 kgs of paper. Hence, we saved 88 trees in 10 months. Isn't that amazing? If zero waste was not followed, then paper pieces, small cardboard, thermocol pieces, plastic pens, and MLP, all of which put together, amounted to about 5,097 kgs would have been burnt or sent to BBM. 
This initiative has even created a livelihood for a family as a person is hired to maintain the aggregation center whose salary is recovered from the proceeds of selling the dry waste and the recycler too is getting good quality waste. Other rejected waste such as sanitary pads are sent to Medicare, a government of Karnataka approved agency who handles these wastes in a scientific manner. From July 2022 to July 2023, pads generated was 596 kgs. The cost of sending it to an empaneled vendor is covered by the income from selling dry waste. Step 5, reuse. We installed digital panels to reduce marketing waste such as banners and flexes. Also, for the common programs, we reuse the same banners every year. Last step is to sustain the process and behavior. This called for a number of awareness campaigns with different groups within the campus and also a strict monitoring mechanism to check and rectify behavior towards sustaining a zero waste campus. We then organized awareness sessions on the importance of waste segregation with students, faculty and staff right from the security and housekeeping personnel to the head of departments. College girls were made aware about the use of menstrual cups and cloth pads. Now Cambridge Institute of Technology is a zero waste campus meaning all single use items are zero and waste is managed in an appropriate manner The key to this is to drop the waste in the right bin Every classroom has colored bins for segregation of waste and every passage in the campus has a colored coded bin Every faculty member and student practices zero waste behavior not only in the classroom or campus but in their personal lives too Today we can proudly say that we have won the zero waste war inside the campus and it's our responsibility to win that war outside too. A ripple effect of this is that our model has been accepted by the TMC Mudubidre who are promoting it in the educational institutions under their jurisdiction. An appreciation letter from the then CEO makes us believe that we are able to inspire others by our honest effort and action. The letter reads as below. I am Indu Yam, Chief Officer of the TMC Mudbidre. We are pleased to inform you that zero waste initiative at your campus motivated us to implement the same at the policy level in all schools and colleges at TMC Limits Mudbidre. We appreciate and thank you for being a role model for all educational institutions in implementing best practices in waste management. The system established in your campus gave the confidence to educational head of institutions in our limits that it is possible to do the campus waste management in a scientific manner. This made our job easy in bringing the required change in the mindset of the people and the way waste is perceived. Seeing is believing and the example you have set has helped in seeing the change take effect. We thank you for the being the catalyst and we are glad to inform you that educational institutions here are working on implementing the system and few have already been successful the first being the jain pu college we wish you a great success in all your future endeavors our motto is to first follow then inspire others in this regard we are offering educational tours of our campus showcasing how waste management can be effectively executed in an institutional setting together we can make a substantial impact without demanding tremendous effort thank you